To thee we come, O Lord our God. sacrifice of the Mass. And now, let us recite together the second form of confession. I confess, Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O oh God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father hath sent me, so I send you. Alleluia. So we have the of Christ, as is God working through us. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and it shall be for the Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lord, see at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Jesus on our behalf, move us from faith to love and from love to unity, so that we may bear witness to his glory before the world through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you gave us mothers for the rearing of each new generation and the fulfillment of your purposes on earth. You poured into their hearts the graces of faith, love, and sacrifice. So on this day dedicated to the honor of our mothers, we ask that you would bless all the mothers of our congregation, empower them to lovingly fulfill the obligations you have given them, as they look to the example of Mary, the Blessed Mother of our Lord, and to the lives of all devout and holy women, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The first reading is a reading from the Act of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Judas, called Barsabas, who was also known as Justice and Matthias, then they prayed, You, Lord, who knew the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic, apostolic ministry, for which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and then the lot fell upon Matthias. He was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is... The Lord has set his throne in heaven. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. Hallelujah. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him, and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. 
Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> to whomever I send you, you shall go. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, as you cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, and your mercy cleanse me, so that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Hussein John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise Praise you. especially to our dear mothers gathered on Mother's Day. On the second Sunday of May, 
Over 81 countries, including the United States, celebrate Mother's Day, a day set aside to honor the sanctity and blessedness of motherhood, the maternal bonds they have with their children, and the influence of mothers on society. It is a day that we remember all that our mothers, both living and deceased, have done for us. The modern American holiday of Mother's Day was first celebrated in 1908, when Anna Jarvis held a memorial for her mother in Grafton, West Virginia. Her campaign to make Mother's Day a recognized holiday in the United States began in 1905, the year her beloved mother Anne died. Anne was a peace activist who had cared for wounded soldiers on both sides of the American Civil War. It can be said that her love for these wounded boys knew no distinction. And it wasn't until 1914 that President Woodrow Wilson made Mother's Day an official holiday. On this Mother's Day, I'd like to share with you two short stories. During the French Revolution, came a story of a mother who wandered through the woods for three days with her two children, trying to survive on roots and leaves. On the third day, she heard some soldiers approaching and quickly hid herself and the children behind some bushes. The sergeant in charge noticed the movement so he prodded the bushes to see what was stirring behind them. When he saw the starving women and children, he had compassion on them and immediately gave them a loaf of brown bread. The mother took the bread eagerly, broke it into two pieces, and gave one piece to each of her children. The sergeant noted, she has kept none for herself. The soldier asked, is it because she is not hungry? No, the sergeant said, it is because she is a mother. In April of 2014, close to 300 school girls were kidnapped by Muslim extremists in the African nation of Nigeria. Many nations, including the United States, came together to try to resolve this tragedy and return these children to their homes. Of all the images seen, there was nothing more disheartening than the anguish seen in the eyes and on the faces of the mothers grieving and begging for their children. One mother said tearfully, they can take everything in my house and destroy it. They can burn my house to the ground and even if they killed me, I would be satisfied if only they would give me back my child. Many of the girls have since been released and some rescued, but as of 2018, there are still 112 girls missing and many presumed dead. The bond and love of a mother to her child has been described as truly divine, a gift that comes from God. It is said that a woman is a woman, but it takes a special woman to be a mother. Let the following quotes serve as life lessons for each of us this Mother's Day. George Eliot made the comment, life began with waking up and loving my mother's face. The great Abraham Lincoln said, all that I am or hope to be, 
I owe to my angel mother. We see that mothers became and are our first teachers. William Makepeace Thackeray wrote, Mother is the name for God on the lips and in the hearts of little children. We learn that mothers became the ones who first taught us about God. Again, Abraham Lincoln wrote, I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clung to me all my life. We see that mothers many times are the ones who teach us how to pray. And finally, we read from the quote of Antonio Villagarza, I got to grow up with a mother who taught me to believe in me. We see that mothers so many times are influential in helping to build the character of their children. On this Mother's Day, we also recall how the mother of Jesus, Blessed Mary, set the standards for all mothers. Mary was devoted to God. She had faith in God. She was supportive of her son. And even in the midst of her own personal danger, she chose to be with him at his crucifixion. Mary was at the beginning and at the end of her son's life. She was probably the one who wove the seamless robe that the soldiers at Jesus' crucifixion gambled for. And she was probably the first to hold his lifeless body as he was taken from the cross. She was with the other women that Easter morning who came to finish the anointing. She showed to all of us that a mother's love is unending. Mary showed what love, dedication, selflessness, and sacrifice is needed to be a true mother. And so, my brothers and sisters, on this Mother's Day, it is the united prayer of our world and society to say thank you, Mom, for your love and all you have done. And we pray that God would bless all of you with health and happiness. And for our dear mothers who have passed from us and left us truly orphaned, we pray that the almighty and loving God would be gracious unto them and give them eternal rest and perpetual light. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. Alleluia. Accept, O Father Almighty and Eternal God, this immaculate host which I, your unworthy servant, offer unto you, my living and true God, for my countless sins, offenses, and omissions, for all here present, for all faithful Christians living and dead, that the sacrifice may avail me and them unto salvation and life everlasting. Amen. O God, who distant do man with great dignity and worthiness, and through Jesus Christ did one day a noble public and sanctified. Thanks unto the Lord our God. Amen. 
through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, especially on this Mother's Day, we pray that your blessings might rest upon our mothers. That in the name of Jesus, we have been taught to love one another. And through his death, he conquered death and gave us through his resurrection eternal life. Therefore, on this Mother's Day, we join with the voices of angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift up him of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Remember your servants, Lord. Lord, we offer prayers for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, for the hungry and for the homeless, for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all victims of violence both here and abroad, for all those who serve in our armed forces, and especially for all our mothers. And all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion in honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdoms. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation, and counted among the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, 
which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you all, holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your handmaidens, all the departed mothers of our congregation our, and among our family and friends, all those who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To their souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a good place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory of yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever.
deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please be seated. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy, our saving master. Awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration and a holy longing through this communion make us your willing servants zealous to fulfill your holy will may it at last unite us entirely with you our lord and our god grant us who lives and reigns with god the father in unity with the holy spirit forever and ever amen i will take the heavenly bread and i will call upon the name of the lord lord I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord. Thank you. 
body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, set be the simple unto us in Jehovah. Receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus
Behold, I am sending you out like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ, may the reception of this Holy Eucharist remind us of the countless million who have not yet heard of the salvation that you won for them. Grant that through your Holy Church they may learn of the way you have prepared for all people through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty Father, strengthened by this Holy Communion, give us grateful hearts for the blessing of motherhood, inspire us to understand and appreciate a mother's spirit of love and self-denial, of intelligent and voluntary service. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. and grant that the sacrifice which I, the unworthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light to every man, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And he who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of an only son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God.